Big Crazy John here with Big Crazy Outdoor Adventures. I have a medical kit we're gonna review today. And it's the Adventure Medical Kit. It's the um, ultra light, watertight medical kit. It's the point .9. There's a number of these Adventure Kits, Adventure uh, Medical Kits that are different sizes. So this is kind of like a, medi I would say medium sized one. It's for a group of one to four. It's for days one to four. And I got it really for two aspects. It's waterproof, it says. And it's also, you know, kind of, I feel like the right size for Amy and I. It's, so I, I would carry this for the both for both of us. And um, it looked like it had what I, I wanted. Uh, so I'm gonna take it inside though and open it up and show you some of the other kits I have and just give some perspective of the, the kits. And I think there's a kit for every different need and every, every desire, you know, every, every kind of situation, you know? So you have to see what's right for you and what you wanna carry and the, the weight, you know, like for example, this is 8.4 ounces. That may be too much for you. So um, stay tuned. You know, if you're looking to decide if you want a medical kit and kind of what size, what need, what's in it, you know, this video is gonna be good for you. I think um, we're gonna cover, you know, like what's inside and open it up, but, um, Okay, so we're here to talk about this Adventure Medical Kit, and I wanted to give some perspective. Um, I have a lot of different medical kits, and there's like nine kits here. So, you know, I got our kind of kit that goes in the camper, and we, you know, bring that in and out of the camper as when we go camping, we throw that in the, in the camper. Now, this is a kit I have in the truck, and it's got some stuff in it, and, you know, this was like a first kit I made, and it didn't work out, we'll talk about that. And then this was, I forgot to bring a kit for uh, when we went hiking out in the Rocky Mountains. And uh, I had that camel back there, but I, I ended up throwing, I, I kind of had this throw together kit, basically. It was just kind of a combination of, you know, uh, Zantac, Band-Aids, Advil, Tums, you know, just some stuff you might need during the day. Nothing complicated. And um, got a first aid kit here I had from Ozark Trail. And... Trauma pack, these are important for me because I'm actually on Coumadin, and with that, that is a, a blood thinner, and so I'm, I'm more likely to have a bleeding issue. Um, and then we're gonna re have a whole video on this Survive Wear kit. Um, I, 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 this early preview, I'm liking that one. Um, so, but today we're talking about the Adventure Metal Kit. And this is, I would say it's kind of a medium sized kit. And um, we're gonna open that up, but I wanted to give different perspective. So, you know, and I also have like different bags here. I have, you know, kind of a bag I keep in the truck. I got our uh, day hiking, you know, kind of bag with the camel back, you know, and this is a bag I, I go uh, camping with. Sometimes I throw that in the camper and just kind of different needs for different situations. So, you know, different size first aid kits. I have this giant one I made for the house and it just stays at the house and it's got all kinds of stuff in it. We'll, we'll talk about that someday. But um, just kind of give a preface. Um, you know, this is my personal review of this. I'm no expert and, um, you know, you're gonna have to figure out what works for you. So let's get into the kit. I've been holding on to this kit for a bit. I've been wanting to review it. And, um, you know, I'll be honest, these kits, um, some of the kits I've used, you know, um, some of the kits I've, I've, you know, used and they've expired and I've gotten rid of them. Um, some of these kits I don't use. I, you know, these trauma packs, knock on wood, I've never had to open one of these. So that's a good thing. But if you don't have it and then you need it, then you're in trouble. So let's, and, and I know there's there's a lot of debate. I've watched videos where people don't even bring any first aid um, because they're wanting to hike and hike lightly. Um, but I do think there's an aspect of you, you need to be prepared to a degree. So um, it's up to you to decide what degree that is. I, so I've been holding on to this, have not opened this. So it's been zip tied here. Finally opened. 
finally taking the packaging off. You can see the packaging is a little worn. I've uh, carried it around with intentions of reviewing it. Um, so there's also a refillyourkit.com. So that's interesting. First aid kit is not meant to be suitable. Seeking professional medical care. Review contents of kits and instructions before using. Obtain training on first aid and CPR. And I think that's a good uh, recommendation for this video as well. This is not training. This is uh, just to review what's in the bag and what I think about it. So this is some of the content on the package. So grip, pull, stick. It's easy one-handed application of flexible fabric adhesive, adhesive bandages. And it's got the contents tested and used by professional athletes worldwide. It's got wound care, bandage and dressings, cleaning and topicals, bleeding. It's got trauma pad, nitro gloves, medication, blister instruments. So it's got a splinter picker, tick removers, forceps, safety pin, duct tape, moleskin. That's, oh, and it's got a pretty good package of moleskin. I think that was another reason that kind of sold me on this one. Um, I, I think that's a need. I, Amy and I have definitely ran into situations where we need moleskin. Um, you know, ibuprofen, aspirin, I think those are important. Um, you know, band-aids, that happens. I think also, you know, one thing I, I really don't see here is, um, yeah, we'll get into it, but I don't see anything here for like insect bites. So we've had that happen as well. So maybe that's something you just add into the kit. So let's get into the kit. Now that I finally opened it. So I do like the the material on the outside. This is kind of like, um, this is material that you might see in a waterproof bag. I mean, the kind that you, you roll clothes. Um, I question if the zipper is really gonna stop much. I, yeah, there is a, kind of a, a rubber um, portion here, membrane, that will cover up. But um, really where the waterproofing comes into play, from my assumption, is these inside bags. So, these, and these are basically just like a nice, a very nice um, Ziploc bag. So, let's look at that. So we kind of got two bags here. So, this is, so that was open, nice thing. This is your preview of this as well as mine. So that was nice and close. So, one thing about these medical kits is they're not really organized. So, and I'm gonna get into that with the Survivor Wear, Survive Wear um, milk kit. Uh, so you'll, I'll probably link that video here once that I finally create it, but that's one thing I like about that. So let's say there is a situation, I'm just gonna grab all this stuff out and probably dump it on a table to see what I need. And so, easy access bandages, that's cool. More easy access bandages, some, looks like cloth tape, sterile non-woven sponges so that's for you can see there the application of a uh, wound wound closure strips oh that's handy so that that would be handy if you got a large wound and you need to basically get it closed up um, and you're not going to be doing any kind of uh, stitches and this would get you to you can get stitches. So that's cool. It's more still not moving different sized This is two by two three by three basically gauze pads. So These are really important to have you know one thing I mentioned when I had a conversation with the EMT once and I asked him so what's the most important thing if you're gonna have in a metal kit, you know and um I forget how he phrased the question basically, but the answer is um, clean, sterile uh, gauze. So if, if you're gonna have a bleeding type situation, you're gonna go through probably a lot of gauze and to um, these sponges, you know, and 
you're gonna have to replace, you know, if you have a wound, you're gonna have to keep clean bandages on it. So I think this would be important. So go register your kit today. So this is basically a, um, huh, I don't know what that is. That's a big pad. Sterile, sterility guaranteed unless packages opened or damaged. So one thing um, you know, with these individual packages, I, I bet these are not, well, they might have some waterproof. It's kind of like a paper, it feels like, so I don't, I don't think they're gonna be waterproof. This would be, except for there's a big hole there. Um, so that's interesting. So yeah, we got some drugs here, acetaminophen, just over the counter stuff, you know? Um, which is probably expired at this point, so. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. So yeah, we got this some more, some more of the stuff, alcohol wipes. Let's just get into this. This isn't really a, um, this is not, see this, there's a hole in it, so it's not really a sealed bag. Um, let's see what's in here. So antiseptic towelettes, those are really important, so if you're out, Hiking or camping, and you get get a wound, clean it out with something like that. They have triple antibiotic ointment, that's good. Skin cleansing alcohol prep. I think alcohol you might use more so for um, cleaning tools as well. So um, alcohol wipe, so we got an adhesive barrier wipe. That's cool, skin pack. Hmm. Read what this is. Apply skin tack to clean, dry skin. Allow it to air dry. Skin will become tacky. Apply appliance and or tape. Remove tack away or rubbing alcohol. Should irritation occur, discontinue use imme immediately. So that's cool. So if you got a wound, I've never seen this before. So if you got a wound in a you know situation, maybe on your hand or something, to where you're going to be moving a lot you're probably gonna to wanna to use this so you can keep the bandage on, you know, because it's, you know, they always end up coming off. So this is gonna help get it. So there's that. Um, so let's see what's in here. So your typical over-the-counter stuff, aspirin, acetaminophen, uh, ibuprofen, acetaminophen, diphenhydramine. So this is for allergies, okay. This is basically probably like a Benadryl alternative. So, Benadryl option for allergies, ibuprofen. Oh, we got an afterbite, okay, so this is good. Um, I would definitely probably even carry, ah, uh, three's probably plenty. Um, after bite, because we, we actually have had a situation <laughs> where there's been insect bites. Um, you know, hornets are, are nasty. Nasty piece of wild, wildlife. So, wasn't me, but they can happen. So there's that. There's the, uh, kind of the first aid type stuff as far as the bandages, the, uh, pads. And here is a sterile elastic bandage. So those are good to have, do a wrap. You know, if you got a wound, you can uh, wrap it up. If you got an ankle sprain uh, kind of thing, you might need to wrap it, that, was, that would be good. This, I assume, would be for syringe use. You know, if you need to do irrigation, you need to clean out something, maybe a wound, maybe you need to help irrigate an eye with uh, clean water, this would be something you'd use for that. Um, Cotton, cotton tipped applicator. So that's cool. So that's that bag. And then this bag, which was open, which is not cool, um, has more of the kind of all around your stuff, I would say. So safety pins, very handy to have. Um, I think a lot of uses for safety pins. Good to have these. These are kind of big, but um, this, I mean, this would be good if you had to dig something out like a splinter. 
um, nitro gloves and they are actually nitro gloves as opposed to latex since they're some folks have uh, latex allergies and we got some duct tape every kit should have duct tape <laughs> uh, tweezers these are let's test them out can can I pull a hair out can I pull I take two can I pull can I pull I think these, they're kind of thick and they kind of have, boy, these, these might suck. Oh, I got it. So after like, I don't know how many times. <laughs> I mean, they'll work in a pinch, but it's kind of a big package for tweezers. I don't know about that. I guess, you know, you don't want it sticking into stuff. So I mean, there's that aspect. Um, and then we got moleskin. So moleskin, definitely helpful. Lots of different sizes here. I, I can see um, different applications, you know, different situations. So that is the kit. Um, you know, I'm not gonna, I think this would be waterproof. It's basically a big Ziploc bag. Um, Yeah, I think that's good. I think it would hold. So, I think it's a good kit. Um, the weight is maybe an issue. Let's let's talk about the weight. Okay, so I think you could pack this down lighter. You actually, I would question almost, do you need two bags in here? It's actually very kind of difficult to get two bags back in here but it's doable. And it does give you room to expand. Um, you know, one thing I would add to this kit that I feel I like to have around is, although again, I'm lucky, I don't think I've ever had to open one of these, but I always keep them around because again, I'm on Coumadin and I have a potential for having a bad bleeding, you know, situation. And this is specifically for that, it's for clotting. Um, so this I think would be a good addition you know, to add in here. You can hold this down and squeeze that in there. I don't think that would be a problem. Um, there's lots of gauze in there. So, I mean, do I need this? Probably not, but um, it's nice to have. So let's uh, talk about weight. So it, it said, you know, 8.4 ounces and let's give it away. I took basically these two bags out and um, I think there's some Pairing down that could occur, but let's give it away. So it actually weighs in at 7.27 ounces. So not too bad, you know, still under a half a pound. And I think that's um, totally reasonable in a backpack. Um, I do like the uh, little, you know, grab, you could hang that on something, both sides. Um, it's got a good zipper. You know, I like these from these, again, you can grab this and close it. It's nice. I think it's a good kit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it uh, two thumbs up. From my first review, I think using it in the field, I might have a different opinion. Um, so there you go. I hope the review and opening up of the bag and you know seeing what's inside of it helped and hope you enjoyed the video. I want to remind you to get outside and have some fun and thanks for watching.